There is the result of that 1.5. The Maprik MP spoke to MTV News of the plans to expand and build the township of Maprik. He says Maprik is a central CPIC and there is significance in building better infrastructure for the good of seven districts in East and West CPIC. Is the entire CPIC central. The six to seven districts of East and West CPIC. They come through Maprik. They sell, sell cocoa through Maprik. They bring a lot of cocoa. They bring a lot of vanilla. And you know, you talk about entrepreneurs, you can never go fast these three districts. With the buying and selling of vanilla gaining momentum in Maprik, more than a half a million is circulated on the streets of Maprik town in a day. Talks with landowners have agreed to expand the perimeters of the town. There's about more than 53 hectares there. So we would like to develop that. We'd like to put a police barracks there as well. Transport infrastructure is now the focus, says the Maprik MP. The Afield Airport is a major project which 3 million kina has been released out of the 10 million committed by Prime Minister Peter O'Neill. Until now, only 3 million kina is released. And, you know, I'd like them to honor the commitment and assist the district because the airport doesn't belong to Maprik alone. That airport, when it's built, it's for the whole of Civic Central. And it will save many, many people. And in terms of economic activities, in terms of tourism, like Maprik is going to grow. More than seven districts in East and West Sipik are linked by road. MP Simon is urging neighboring districts to work with him and help build roads, bridges, health and other services to link the people. What about Sipik provinces? If Maprik changes, Sipik will change. If we build proper infrastructures in Maprik, it will help. Unfortunately, I am not getting the support that I should be getting. Jack Lopave, Jr. National MTV News.